This podcast was edited and uploaded by Uncle G Productions. Hey guys, and welcome everyone to the Drupal G Podcast. I'm your host, Uncle G, and with me is host of Media Gaming. We record this podcast live every Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can listen to this podcast on Apple, Spotify, Google, or anywhere you can find a podcast. You can also watch our video podcast over on youtube.com slash drip G drip. Chat, how we doing this week? Uh, I'm doing fantastic. Good. I am... Um, I'm sick of the rain, man. Oh, the I rain! Didn't tell you about that? No, no, no. Yeah, I mean, what month is it? Where do I live? It is uh, January. I had to look at my calendar. It's January. No, this is crazy, man. <laughs> it's it just doesn't <clears throat> snow anymore. It just rains. It's like almost sixty degrees outside. What? So it's been like fifties 60. and sixties. Wow, sixties. I mean, I'm serious. It's been it's it, crazy, dude. Per, it's it's been like touching the forties for us, mostly in the thirties. Uh, as of recently, it has been sleeting outside so we're getting these little oh, ice ice and wet coming down and it's slippery and icy on the ground it's it's been it's been uh unideal however i don't go outside very much <laughs> so, <laughs> so sick. I, well i mean i have to so go outside with it. yeah i have to I wish like I, you I know wish I chauncey's got to go out i got things to do outside sometimes but my god yeah it's just i don't care if it's i don't care if it snows yeah. i'm totally fine with snow just snow all of it, whatever. I, I don't when like it snow. just rains and rains and rains, and then you know, every once in a while it'll just get, it'll get really cold, and then all that rain just turns into ice. So then it's like you really can't go anywhere. Yeah, that that's the worst is when it turns from it's like oh rain is fine, but then like when it gets cold overnight, and all that rain now becomes ice, and it's like, you know, hell driving on the road and stuff, and or like just walking yeah. at your door without falling. That's always. Uh, an adventure after the rain, but yeah, and I'm holding a blind dog in my hand when I'm doing it too. Yeah, which is just another. <laughs> that's another hazard that we don't. Are you just walking need. around with Chauncey in, in your in your on your side well, as I mean, you? When he's got to go out, like I got to take him out the front door there, and then walk across the driveway to the yeah. to the grass. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, you know, why don't you just like just, just put him on the ground gently? He won't move, and just just push him, slide him, just push him. Just He'll whoosh. slide right on the ice. <laughs> I should have left his claws long. He'd use them as like ice skates. Yeah, yeah. Oh, dude, that would, uh, perfect. That's what did you do? Don't cut his nails. Just let him. I ice already skate. did. I just cut him. I'm gonna ah, let him grow. Maybe you have to put some fake ones on for him. <laughs> <laughs> what? Some of little extensions. Yeah, little extensions. Uh, guys, we got a, we got an episode for you guys. We're gonna be talking about what are we? What is even we talking about? What is uh, we? Even we're talking, talking about, about <laughs> how we're not getting a Switch Pro. We're not gonna get a Switch what? Pro. We're gonna we're gonna talk about no, we're how we Switch feel Pro. about that. <laughs> we're going to talk about uh, what's next for Nintendo, yeah. and uh, we're gonna, I think we're going to go into a little bit of a little bit of history, a little bit of a history lesson. Ooh, history! I like history. History is yeah. fun. I didn't like it in school yeah. though. History sucked in school. When you when you're forced, I, I really like when, when you're forced to learn. Like at least for me, is how I was in school. When you're forced to learn something, at least for me, I don't learn it. Like if I like. In the school setting, like I mean, and not in the regular, like if I can, I, I can, if I'm, if I force myself to learn something as an adult, it's different. But in school, when I was a kid, it, you couldn't just be like, okay, you have to learn this to get a good grade, and it's all gonna be fine. Like I just, I, I don't learn like that. I have to learn at my own pace. So you can't force me anything, Drew. Tangents. Oh. Tonight's the night of tangents. Nobody makes me bleed my own blood. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's right. Nobody makes me bleed my own Zelda. And uh, so, Drip, let's let's take a look because we got, uh, let's let's take a look back at the past consoles and the transitions between generations of Nintendo consoles. And, and before we even get into that, actually, just to, I know last week we talked a lot about this. Uh, we talked a little bit about it, I should say last week. We're going to just take what we talked about last week, kind of expand on it. This that's what this episode is going to pretty much be. Um, so last week, what do we? What was last week? What was the even conversation we had last week about? I mean, most of what we were talking about last week was just <clears throat> what basically we, you know, we, we got into the Switch Pro, Switch 2. Well, right. you know, this is coming, that's coming, whatever. Right, right. I mean, for just so everyone knows for this episode, no matter what we're talking about, the next thing from Nintendo, we will be referring to that as the Switch 2. We don't know yeah. what it's going to be called. We don't even know if it's going to be a Switch 2. We're just going to yeah. call it the Switch 2. For the sake that's of the argument, called. for the sake of the, yeah, the just content. So, so we can keep things flowing nicely then we know what we're talking about yeah i mean basically last week i mean i think i can't even really remember but i mean i i do 
mostly just want to talk about where I think where they're going to end up with this, because as you were saying, like we, we want to kind of go back and talk a little bit about it, the history, but I think the, the transition from Wii U to switch and we're not going to get into that very deep, but I think you yeah. and I agree probably on, on why that happened. And we, we can probably discuss a lot of the future and where they're going with it from that decision and everything yeah. they did there. Yeah. But actually, you know what? I, I was talking to Kim about this. I told you I've had this conversation before. Like, if you look at, if you look back to the beginning, like the original Nintendo, yep. and, and look at every single thing that they've done after, not only have they been the trendsetters, the one that everybody's following, but they always take something that they have, they take it to the next thing, and then it, it's in the next thing, but it's not like the next thing's thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let me let me give you some examples here. The regular Nintendo. Mm-hmm. We had a D-pad. Yes, like, we did. That was cool, a D-pad. That was really cool. So... We go to the Super Nintendo. Well, well D-pad no, comes along. That, before let's context that, dude. Before that, well, we look we're looking at like joysticks, right? Like like little like Atari uh, yeah, I mean, like style Atari, joysticks. Yeah, I mean Atari. So that was the, that was the evolution, not Nintendo's evolution, but like so that but was that, yeah, that was that was kind of their thing. Like okay, here we go. You know, a D-pad. D-pad. So the D-pad. You got your D-pad, and then they take the D-pad, they bring that to the Super Nintendo, but now instead of having an A B button. We've got A, B, X, Y. Right. That was kind of the thing. Had shoulder buttons. You know, obviously 16-bit, but I mean, that's just the the progression yep. of how that happened. So, you know, more buttons. Yep. Shoulder buttons. That was kind of the thing. Then 64 comes, and I mean, obviously that controller was, that that was way, 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 way Yeah, re- that was rev- revolutionary in, in, in the space, not only but, with yeah, its design. It had a... It had a it had a joystick on a controller. Yeah, right. Not a big Atari stick, but it had a joystick on a controller. And then what happened after that? Uh, the PlayStation game? re-released oh. their controllers with joysticks. joysticks on it. And they did better. And they did better they joysticks. They did it better. Better they joysticks, better. but not only better joysticks, two joysticks. Two of them, and yeah. Because let's be honest, but, the, the, whole cam- the whole camera C buttons on the, on the 64 controller it was never a good idea. That was always no, a bad idea. No, it, it should have been another joystick, obviously. But... <laughs> Yeah, they did it better, but then you go to the GameCube. Yep. All those ideas just kind of piling on more and more, but then obviously, you know, they changed to the disc thing, which they messed the disc thing up there. They did those little mini discs. Mini discs, yeah. And there's a whole story about that with them and Sony and how it was supposed to be a joint effort with them and Sony or... Yeah, that was the GameCube, right? Yes. And that's when we got the PlayStation. Oh, no, 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 no. We're, I'm uh, PlayStation 2. Or how was that? GameCube was uh, I'm not sure exactly, but basically that that was the place that was um, PlayStation Two came after GameCube. Okay, I'm thinking the Super Nintendo and the uh, or maybe it was the 64. I can't remember. Anyway, Nintendo ended up going with cartridges. They were like, "No, nah, yeah. we're good. We're not. We're not going to do this." But there was supposed to be a disc add-on for I believe it was the 64. Maybe maybe that's what it was. And that was kind of where they were going with Sony, and then Sony ended up doing their own thing. Whatever. Anyway, yeah. yeah. The point is, you see these things keep going. Now, with the Wii, that's when they really, that's when things changed, yep. obviously. Yep. They went completely motion control. But then, when they switched to that, we had, at the time, what was it? The Wii, so it was PlayStation 3 at the time. Mm-hmm. Do you remember what they were doing with PlayStation 3 at the time? Uh, uh, you talking about Wii, controllers? The the weird controller. Do you remember the weird controllers that the PlayStation 3 had? No, I honestly don't. Okay, so they had these things. I forget what it was called, but the Wii was uh, was killing it. The Wii was killing it, and everybody wanted on this motion control thing. So Xbox tried to do the Kinect, yep. which was a camera, yep. and then Sony had those little like sticks balls. with the glowing balls yep. on top. Yeah. I remember now. Okay, which is crazy. P- PS, PS move. move. Thank you. Those actually ended up becoming the controllers for the P of uh, the PlayStation VR too. I don't know yeah. if you know that. Yeah. The first V. Yeah. So those failed. Those did not do well, but they were all trying to chase what Nintendo was doing because they saw what happened with the Wii. Yes. There's a common now, theme here. Let's, let's wrap the, not wrap up, but let's uh, kind of summarize what you said so far. Basically what you're saying is Nintendo has been revolutionizing 
controllers slash the console space since their beginning and everyone else right. has kind of been chasing them but also while they're chasing them kind of surpassing them and doing it better at the same time yeah i mean yeah they do they do get left behind they do something cool and then every if it is a cool idea that catches on somebody does it better everyone else seems to do it better but then yeah. nintendo just says okay cool that's fine we're done with that anyway i'm gonna go we're gonna go back here and make this thing now let, let, let me. Like, I'm gonna. I want you to keep talking what you're talking about. I did, but I just thought of something. So like, let's think about the Switch for a second, and then the Switch is Nintendo's thing. They did their thing. The Switch as a whole, not Joy Cons, just the Switch as a whole. Steam comes over and it's like, hey, we're gonna one up you. And now their thing does. Dock. Oh yeah, well, and it's different. The Steam Deck is different, but it's the same kind of but idea. But they're not even the first ones. The the Neo, whatever that thing is. Like that count. all those, all those. Yes, they do. They're they're still it, trying to do the same thing. Now, Valve has done it better with the Steam Deck. You're 100% yes. right. But all these other things, little pocket PC, yeah. portable PC things, all of them are like, oh, yeah, let's do that. Let's look at the Switch. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, they're I, all they're all trying to chase the Switch. I have my own opinions on the Ioneo stuff. because There's so many of them, but also some of them are, are like on paper they're good, but in reality they're not good at all. Like, yeah. Like well, that's one, did, uh, one, one of them has like one hour battery life, dude. Like literally yeah. it's like one hour. Well, the Steam Deck's Who like what, two that? hours? I'm not sure. I, I've, it's more than one hour. And if two, yeah, it's not. Two or, it's not great. Though. I want to say. I, I'm did say order, four max. I did order a Steam Deck though. Congratulations, man! I got one ordered on <laughs> what day was it? Monday. Ordered one Monday. Very excited. Very good. Very very excited for that. All right, but go back to what you were saying. I just wanted to bring that. Compa- okay, I was so about that. Obviously, the Wii was doing great. They rode the Wii wave way too long. Yes, they did. They know that. Everybody knows that. Then they they you know they threw out the Wii U. Because they needed to throw out the Wii U at the time. It clearly was not what they wanted to do. It's right. obviously a Switch prototype. Yeah. But people were confused. Like it had the it had the dual screen, which kind of comes from what they were doing with their handheld side. You know what I mean? Yeah. You got the DS, 3DS, 2DS, mm-hmm. the dual screen stuff. They were kind of just bringing that over to the home console stuff, which I mean, I like that. I really like that, especially playing the Zelda games that are on the Wii U. Having the menu right here and just being able to like flip it up into place, like I I really enjoyed that on um, uh, a link between worlds too on the 3ds. Yeah, how all your stuff was just right there and you could just whoop, whoop, yeah. whoop, move it yeah. around how you mm-hmm. wanted to. I really love that. But I, I agree. I kind of felt like that's how it was, but I, I mean, obviously it was marketed terribly. They were still using discs then, and I mean. I mean, I, basically where I'm going with this is we've seen we everything except the Wii U. People are chasing Nintendo. Like, okay, yeah, that's that's it. Because I mean, we see it now. And I think I told you this the other day. I would not be surprised if we see Sony or Microsoft or both come out with a handheld within the next two, three years. I mean, why? Handhelds so, uh, are... Microsoft I mean, wouldn't. Microsoft won't. But they don't. They don't really need to. They they're don't gonna have need a streaming to. service. They yeah, don't need they're gonna to. have a streaming service where they don't even need it. But PlayStation's building that right. Sony's building the same thing right now. Yeah, that's where Nintendo's getting yeah. left behind. Honestly, the streaming stuff. Because eventually, I mean, it may suck right now. It may not be the greatest experience. That's gonna be real, real soon. Like actually usable on just about everything everywhere. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. That that's a discussion for another day, though. I know you don't you don't like that idea. You I don't like that streaming. I, of idea. course, well, of course, I'm I'm very biased against it. You're right. I but. just want it. I want it to work right. I don't care. I don't give a. <laughs> I do not give a shit how I'm playing the game as long as it plays nicely. I don't care if it's streaming. I don't care. I don't care if it's digital. Whatever that doesn't matter to me. If it works the way it's supposed to work, then I'm I'm good with it. But I mean, most of the experience I've had with it. The streaming stuff. I mean, it does lag. That's a sc- does discussion lag. for another day, but move on. Yeah. Okay. That, I mean, that's basically it. That's not a we're, we're watching. I, don't, I, don't mean, I don't mean to be move on, Drip. <laughs> yeah. No, you're right. You're right. You're right. There's a, that's another conversation. Yeah. But uh, I mean, so when we're talking about maybe, let's just say the next thing, it's very hard for me. I mean, we'll get into that at the end. But yeah. Yeah. The discussion Wait. about what is next is a very interesting one because we've seen them change everything so much even even when i mean things were going fine i mean yeah i don't know i mean their handhelds actually 
were, you know, their their most profitable division. Right. And they just they basically just got rid of it. Nintendo, you're talking about Nintendo. Uh, yeah. They, nah. Well, I mean, they combined it. They, they combined. They combined it. it. They 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 combined it. They doubled down. I mean, it's not like yeah, it's not like they they are losing anything. I guess they, the Switch is obviously successful, but I mean, yeah. you would think if you have a successful, you know, handheld line like that, you wouldn't want to just get rid of it. In most cases, so I mean, I don't know. They they do a lot of really strange things. They're very hard to predict. Yes. <laughs> is that it? <laughs> I mean, I mean that's basically it. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. We'll see you guys next week. We were hoping. Well, I mean, <laughs> we were hoping for a, a refresh. Yes. Yeah, so like, uh, so that was you know. So we're not getting a re. So so according to some articles out there, we're not getting the refresh that we kind of all expected to come. Not only like last year, but this year was be like last f ditch effort. Like, oh, when's when's this switch? Pro Switch Two yeah. coming, guys. Like Switch Pro. No, this and, is Switch Pro. We're talking about not Switch Two. Remember, right? Right. Got to keep the the verbiage correct here. Yeah. So so the Switch Pro. Like, where's the Switch Pro? The the upgraded internal Switch as we know it. Where's it at? Yeah. And apparently that has been. We talked about that last week. Apparently that's been been canceled. Now, not no official word on that. Obviously, um, this is all just he said, she said, rumors. But all that but, makes sense. Yeah, cause, like I mean, we, it like, makes sense. Like, if you guys want to hear more about that particular last week, you know, let's go back to last week's episode. We talked about the whole, the whole like switch OLED thing. Drew and I nailed that uh, argument. Um, we did, we did. I mean, not to toot, <laughs> not to toot our horn, but I mean, but but I think we I think we're, yeah. we're, we're I think we should try to switch our tune here and just kind of start to realize and, and how do we feel about the fact that we're just not getting a switch. Pro, we're we're just not getting it. I think the next thing Nintendo releases hardware wise in terms of the Switch tablet that's that's stockable, um, it's just going to be the next generation. I, I think at this point the Switch is six years old. Is it coming this year? Unlikely, unlikely. Even no, though pe- people oh, want it, absolutely not. People, it's un- people want it. It's just very unlikely. Is it coming next year? Slightly more likely, but if you really think about it. It's just it, it's just not coming, guys. Like we're the Switch OLED was that thing, and and that's gonna hold us over for another th- yeah. two or three more years, you know, potentially. I don't think it's gonna be three years. I, th- I, I think, think it will we're, be. We're twenty twenty three within the third year. I'm not saying three years exactly within I, the third I would year. Say two plus. We hear about it maybe next year. No, Man, I don't no. know. The next generation, twenty twenty four. Because when was it? La- in twenty twenty one, when Nintendo went out and said publicly that the Switch is in its mid life cycle. Is that correct? Was it 2021? So that's just about two years ago. 2019? It was, 20, it was not, 20, not 2019. Well, they said think. it then, too. They've said Did it they? twice. Okay. It, yeah, but it was it was like <clears throat> two different years, and it was like, I, I yeah. believe there were years in between, too, so it was like, I, okay, I, well, is it now or was it then? I can't see a world where we're seeing, we're getting... Well, I, okay, before we go into that, let's just, with for the sake of the rest of the episode... We're not getting a Switch Pro, guys. Like we're just we're not getting it. We're yeah, not get- I don't. I don't think we're getting it. it, it now. The idea I, I of the really, Switch really Pro, wanted it. It, it was a, it was an idea. It's been an idea for years since the Switch ever came out. Before the before the Switch came out, people wanted a better. Dude, Switch. Think about this. Th- but this we're is just, nuts. We're, for the rest of the episode. Just we're on the, we're talking about a next generation Switch Two, whatever it's going to be. The Switch Pro is dead in our world here that we're creating in this episode. Yeah, I don't. I don't think it's coming. I don't think we're ever getting it. I mean, I think we we know that it was the OLED thing. But think about this. When did I start doing YouTube? It was 2019. Early or mid 2019. Mm-hmm. I was talking about the Switch Pro then. Yeah. Well, you could you like can you can go back and watch. Back then, you can go back when the Switch was called the NX and people were speculating what it was going to be and people were talking about a Switch Pro that we're well, talking, still like, talking about okay. today that, that, that they like thought that. the regular let's, Switch was going to be. Let's go with that. You know what's crazy about <clears> that? This is this is kind of this is kind of Going into our next co- topic of the same conversation here, but mm-hmm. whenever it was called the NX, like back when nobody knew, because I don't, people didn't know it was a hybrid dockable handheld until I think it was like a couple days before it started leaking out. Like yeah. this thing's got a screen, this thing's got a screen on it. Yeah. It's dockable. I, think I would have pooped like, my pants. It's a if, handheld. If I was in that world like I am right now, back then, I think I would have pooped my pants. <laughs> yeah. I mean, and, so <clears throat> a lot of people were wondering then like okay with the Wii U being the way it was and you know there there were certain points in the Wii U's life where it was like th- Nintendo wasn't even releasing games for it it yeah. was just it was just there yeah 
but I mean, you know, everyone's okay. Well, obviously, this thing is going to be backwards compatible, right? Like, whatever the NX is will definitely be backwards compatible because then all our Wii games will work, all our Wii U games will work. But then obviously, that didn't happen because, you know, you, you can't really do that. But right, right. that actually makes me think about something, too. That was really. That was more genius than I even realized. Just thinking about it right now. Think about this. Not only have they re-released every single game that was on the Wii U on the Switch and charged $60 for it, Mm -hmm. but they figured out a way for the Wii U to still be backwards compatible (laughs) with the Switch. Or the Switch be backwards compatible with the Wii U. They just ported everything over to cartridges and made everybody buy it again. <laughs> that is insane. So it still actually is backwards compatible. All the games are there. You just got to buy them again. It's the games. <laughs> the games are playable on the new console. They are not backwards compatible. You are no, kind of you kind of me- you kind of I'm, screwing with, the, am, with the, the, ter- the terminology. Think about that though. But they did it. They did. They did it. All the games are there. Yeah, that's more than we could say about other, you know, we, you know, we, we, Wii U is on there, not the other games that we want to play from older systems and generations, but Wii U games are on the Switch. All of them, yeah, pretty well, much. And I was going to say something else about that that I forgot. Um, well, let, let's look, let's look at the Wii, you're talking about the Wii U to Switch, let's talk about the Wii U to Switch, like. Yeah, well, I mean, obviously the Wii U is, that was an issue. And I, yeah. I, we've talked about this too. The Wii U, because, but because guys, all this kind of, at least in my mind, I'm sure drips too. But all this, what we're talking about, kind of is just context for the end subject, which is the real meat of the yeah. Episode. I mean, we're just kind of leading up to like what, what's next? I mean, that yeah, that's the question. What's next? But yeah. I mean, yes, I, I want to have this discussion to get yeah. full context. But yeah. um, so the Wii U to the Switch, obviously, that's kind of the thing I wanted to talk about was the fact that it wasn't backwards compatible. Right. But I, I think that as D- we I disc think we does not go into that. Switch tablet. It's a period. End right. Of story. I think I think that shows us right there where they're going with all this. The fact that they decided, okay, we're not doing discs anymore. We're going back to cartridge based games, and. I mean, they basically were just like, well, we'll do the best we can. We'll just get all this stuff, you know. It's there. Backwards compatible right. for $60 a piece. And, and and they're gonna move forward with cartridges. So I mean, I, I don't know. Does that necessarily mean that the next thing we're getting is a switch two? I don't know. I mean, it's possible that it could be something completely different. But I mean clearly the Wii U was a little bit ahead of its time as far as what they wanted to do with it. You and I have had this conversation before. Yes, it was ahead of its time but, with the idea and behind the t- its time in terms of the tech that was available yeah. uh, and pricing. I mean, the tech was available, but the pricing to get it to a consumer level product that you could buy, anyone could buy for it's for e- ready for everyone. You know, it, 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 you could you could do what Ioni is doing, and yeah, you can you can get high price gaming or you can get high. Uh, uh, performance yeah. gaming right for now $1, for a thousand dollars or fifteen hundred dollars. You know that's a, that's the problem with the Wii U is that if they would use tech that was more expensive for the Wii U, of course it would have it would have worked perfect worked perfectly, and it would have been able, it would have been basically a Switch tablet on your in your hands and a Wii U connected to your TV working simultaneously. You could take that Switch tablet out with you to the world. Like the Switch would have come early if it was more expensive. You know. <laughs> yeah, but I mean they, they've got to stay in the price. They've got right. to stay in the price point. Obviously, right. You're not getting especially then. Yes. Like yeah, a, a PlayStation Five, Xbox Series X now five hundred dollars. Yeah, that's a lot. I mean, thinking about it, like yes, that's a lot. But if they would have asked that for the Wii U, even if the Wii U was doing some crazy shit, well, well, absolutely dude, not. They asked three fifty. Absolutely not. Three fifty was the starting price, I believe. Okay, not that's not five hundred though. <laughs> In 20- I mean, what was the what was the PlayStation or the PlayStation? What was the original PlayStation? I mean, the original PlayStation Four, not the Pro. The Pro is four hundred, right? You, the number. I believe. So you got to remember too, while you're talking about numbers, is that numbers mean different things in different eras. So like, you, t- ten years ago, or however long the Wii U's been out, eleven years ago when it when was it released, um, that three fifty then is probably actually very comparable to five hundred dollars today. Yeah, I, it, mean, it, I guess, but no, no, because 
all the other consoles were that price too. That's if it wasn't it wasn't crazy price. It may have been a little bit more expensive, but it was on par with everything else. Yeah. So I mean, I don't know. I don't, I don't think it was that crazy. Three fifty. I mean, I don't know. The, the well, it, it was hot because they didn't they did, didn't they immediately put it down? Didn't they? No, that was the that was the three DS. Oh, uh, um, yeah, that's right. Um, they were dead, 250. The 3DS, yeah. And then they brought it down to 179. That's what it was. Yeah. But that was yeah, a, a but successful was, console. <laughs> yeah, well, not at first. Not, not at, at first. the original price. I don't know. What was the original price? 250. Okay, yeah. I, I, I don't know what it was, but it was not successful at that price. No. But, I mean, think about that. If they never would have lowered the price on that thing. I wonder if it would have picked up the way it did. Probably not. But... I mean, so before we even get to the what's next, yep. as far as like the main Switch goes or the main Nintendo console, is there anything left? Before, before we go, let's just say to next-gen Nintendo, is there anything else coming? I am on a... I'm, I- you know, it's funny because you told me last week, you reminded me that during the season twenty, uh, season two finale, that I had said that we're definitely getting a Switch Lite OLED. <laughs> I, dude, I, I really and do think like, that. And then, like, I still and then like, think two, that. like two weeks later last week, I was like, no, we're not you getting said, one. said no, yeah. And I remain on that stance a week later. Apparently, it's a week. Man, it's a week, it, it's a week by week thing, apparently. Maybe come back, come I, back it it next is. week. I was hoping you were coming back this week, but that's No, fine. I'm not. That's I'm fine. not. And I don't think I'm moving off. The, I, I, I feel this way, and I'm firm about it now. I think I was just I was I was hype of the twenty I feel, the season I two feel finale. Like that's a that's a bridge. <laughs> Excuse me. That's a bridge thing to get to the next. Like that would be the thing. Like it's not gonna change the hardware no. as far as like the internals. No, you got to think about but, the, the reason why. Why would right, they put out okay, a switch? Okay, I can like tell OLED. you why. I can tell you exactly why. Because once they put out the switch two or. New Nintendo Switch, whatever it is, whatever the next Switch is, at that point, the Switch Lite is a dinosaur. At least at this point, if they upgrade the Switch Lite, they can keep that one going beside the new one for a little while. And as that one keeps going, you know, I, I think I think it makes a lot of sense to do it that way, especially the way they're set up right now. Just give it a little bit of a refresh, maybe a kickstand, maybe just a, a few little things here to make it like they did with the OLED. Send it, then start the new thing. So you keep shaking your head, but I'm because like, you. well, because okay, let me start. Let me let me just say my piece real fast. So starting with your idea of a switch light OLED, that's not mm-hmm. happening. I I just don't. There's not a. I don't see it. I don't see it happening this year. I don't see it happening ever because the switch light. Thinking about it from early in the episode, we talked about Nintendo's and handhelds. Uh, actually, guess what, dude? Nintendo has handhelds. They have they a handheld, and it's called the Switch Lite. It is okay. not a home console. It is okay. a. It is not a clamshell uh, DS. It is a all next right. generation handheld. And, it, and what it, they do with it, all their handhelds before for that? It's, for what it does, it is the most powerful handheld they've ever put out. And you what see, do they do with all their handhelds before that? They upgrade them. All of them. All of every them. one of them. Right. So this <laughs> is where this is where this is where I think we're actually going to come to to an understanding. At least I hope so. We're not getting a Switch Lite OLED. We're getting a next gen handheld. If we're if we're yeah. if they're if if they're doing if they're doing anything with the Switch Lite, not the Switch regular as we know, the Switch OLED, if they do anything with a Switch Lite, it is going to be a redesigned handheld device. Maybe that's where the clamshell device comes back in. There's rumors, people speculating, people at least people want nah. a, a clamshell. Well, I mean, I'm not then saying they're going to have to start making completely new games for that thing. And they've already merged everything together. There's no way they're going to be like, oh, no, this is just for this one now. Yeah. But you can play all these games. Like, no, that's going to muddy the waters too much now. The Switch they've, Lite. They've committed to bringing these things together. I don't see them bringing them back apart. The Switch, possible, but. The Switch Lite, as we know it, is, the, is for two people, two kinds of people. It is for children. If you want to buy a console for your children to beat around with, perfect. Or the price point's perfect and the console's perfect. Or... You're someone who just likes to play handheld gaming. 
and maybe has a PC or an Xbox or a PlayStation to get your fill of TV time gaming, and you just mm-hmm. want something to play on the go that's not an emulator device or that's not a retro Game Boy. So that's also an option, too. You can literally just get a Game Boy and get Game Boy games. That's also an option. I but. really did love my Switch Lite for a while. If I would have yeah. started like streaming and stuff, I probably would still be playing Switch Lite. Well, yeah. no. OLED. Which, which, that's, which that's, I think yeah. I actually rephrase that. If it wasn't for Nintendo's terrible ecosystem of game transfer save files, yeah, then you the would problem. have kept. If it was just as, well, as easy as actually, they say it is you know to pick up and play, it, it is better now. It is better now. They have made updates to it, and it does work. I used to a switch lot better now. Yeah, I I use a switch here at my desk. This is my red Mario switch because I don't want to use it with my with an handheld because it's got the old screen, and I have my OLED, and I I do I'm I, I'm able to transfer. My game save. Do you have it set easily. up so it'll do it automatically? Yeah. And it sometimes it works, it sometimes it doesn't. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, it doesn't always <laughs> yeah. work. And it's annoying. It's like, what the fuck, man? Yeah, like, where's the save, damn it? <laughs> it's like, oh, or the, my favorite. My favorite is when it goes, you have save data that is on the cloud, but not on the console. Would you like to download it? But yeah, yeah, that's why I put the. I, yeah, I would I, like to download it. Of course I, I do. Set the setting I to set do that. The, it's like, why are you asking me? Yeah, exactly. Why are you asking me? Exactly, exactly. So we've had this conversation before. <laughs> we've already done this. Yeah. Why are we having this again? Right. So it's that's that's so frustrating. But yeah. Yeah, I wish that worked better. Because if that worked better, yeah, I would have more. That, that's why I stopped with the more than one switch thing. Yeah. Because it's a it's a pain in the ass. It, I have it, one OLED now, and well, I have I have other ones, but like one of them's in my oldest daughter's room, and then mm. there's two more switch lights here. We just got another switch light. I'm about to actually put a video out about the fact that I just bought another switch light. I, I do like the switch light, but, okay, but I think tangent over. I think there is. Yeah, <laughs> I think there is going to be a I, okay. Yeah. You may be right. There may be nothing else, and this could go a completely different direction, but I would say this. If there's going to be an upgrade to the Switch Lite to keep it going a little further, maybe into the life of whatever the next the Switch 2 is, now is the time. This is your bridge. Right now is the time when you can put that out because clearly they're not going to do anything else this year. This would be it. You do it now. You let those go for a little while. Then you're done with the Switch Lite until you do you know, the Switch Lite 2 or yeah. X, or whatever the hell, whatever the hell it's going to be. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I, I mean, so right. I, I actually, it, it I could more, never come. I but. have more to say on the Switch Lite's future with Nintendo because I don't think it's going anywhere. Um, because and that's going to be the last segment. But this is the second to last segment, and this is the predict. Your and I predictions and chat play along in the chat. You can give us your predictions of the next piece of hardware that the Nintendo's going to release. Not like what we want them to release. Not what we think the rumors mean. Just like, what do you think the next piece of hardware is going to be? Is it going to be a new controller, new Joy-Cons, a new Switch tablet, a new Switch Lite with an OLED screen? What is, Drip, what's your prediction of what the next thing they're going to put out is? Switch Lite OLED. Just, and you're, you're talking just slapping an OLED screen on Switch Lite and no, how do you do it? I think it'll have other little things. It'll have the improved speakers it, kickstand, this kickstand, one may end up with a kickstand a something like kickstand. that yeah i mean something like that i think it'll be tiny little things a, a slight redesign new colors obviously okay. okay uh no you know no bezel bigger screen probably about the same size well the bezel's are already pretty but, small to switch light they're very very small eh, i mean they're they're there they're there i have a couple here hang on i'll grab one i have one right here you have a switch light but you didn't have any switch lights Oh, your kids switch lights? They're probably your kids they're probably your kids switch lights. Yeah, I mean you can see That's small, dude. That's a small bezel. Okay, there. but if you made all that screen I mean, a lot more w- screen there. Would they? Would Nintendo do that? Yeah, I mean I think I, I think they would. Right, I don't well, see okay. why they wouldn't. Cool, cool. That's what I'm saying. I don't see why Money. they wouldn't. It would it would take this older product, you know, put a fresh coat of paint on it and send it off to just be out there with whatever's coming next, then that is still there. Then they have an updated cheap version. They have an updated cheap version instead of just this old thing. Yeah. Like nobody wants that old thing. Look at that brand new shiny thing. Like, okay, no, 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 we don't have this. We've got this kind of shiny thing here, this kind of shiny thing. Don't worry yeah. about that old. So thing. don't forget that when the when they when they gave the OLED update to the Switch is that they raised it by fifty bucks, and the they whole did. point of the Switch Lite not only is it for those two pieces of audience, but the the main key to those audiences is that they want something affordable. 
They don't want to mm-hmm. pay the full price of the Switch. Because if they did, they would just buy regular Switch. But they Nintendo knows that there's people out there who don't want to pay that extra bit of cash. You're and right. And they're going to... So I think they, it's important for them to hit that 200 price range. They're not going to bump it up. they can. They are. They did, hey, I was wrong about another thing. Let's talk about that. <laughs> I said the original Switch would be gone. Once this no. OLED really kicked, it's still there. The, V2, so, the V2, you mean? Yeah, the V2. So keep this on the market, too. Then you've got one at 200, one at 250, one at 300, one at 350, and then your new one comes out at $450. $400. No way. <laughs> we're we're going to argue to that until, until the day comes Four, out. 400, maybe. 400, 400. 400's the, the high, higher range. Yeah, that, yeah. but yeah, that, it'll that, be 400. That, that, that's where it's going to be, I think. Not 450. But then, but then you're really hitting everything. It's like, what do you want? Like, you've got so many options. Yeah. It's possible. I don't know. I, I'm saying I, 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 think, predict, I think a Switch Lite OLED's coming. I predict nothing. In terms of you like, don't think we're going to get anything else. Not in the this, next not in this family. Not in this family. The it's, next gen. it's the next gen. That's what I predict. It's going to be two years before we see any hardware. No controllers? No nothing? Nothing. What about all this hype about uh, GameCube coming to Switch Online? What if we get a GameCube controller? Okay, all right, if they do that, then okay, that that doesn't really count, does it? I mean, oh well, you said controllers. Yeah, but like that's a specialty online exclusive controller. That's not all right. Readily well, if that available count, hardware. Then yes, I still go. I still go. Uh, Technically, which, yeah. If they or like a game, a Game Boy, Game and Watch, probably more. That's probably the next thing that comes out. If, uh, yeah, either that, either that. Watch. If they do Nintendo Online for Game Boy, then we're getting a Game Boy, a Game and Watch Game Boy, or we're getting a. If they do GameCube, we'll get a GameCube controller for Switch. That would be dope, by the way. Can't wait for my Nixie to come in. Did I talk about that last week? I don't think I did. I don't think I had it last week. No, you didn't have them. Yeah, I'm gonna get. Well, I don't have them still. I probably won't have them for a while. I'm in the. I'm. I'm. I'm in the next batch. So whenever they put out the next ones, but I'm getting the Nixies, guys. So probably say I'll probably get them I, the same time you get yours. Is my I guess. was gonna say yeah. I'm, they're like because I even I emailed them again. I'm like, listen, are you sure you don't have like any just laying around? Somewhere no, that you can send over here. They, like we were, have absolutely they were not, none. Like, they were when not they come ready. back, you'll have them. They were not. Damn, they were not ready. I did get a tracking number for my uh, my Switch uh, Joy-Con. Oh yeah, uh, Hall Effect. The Hall Effect. Yeah, uh, my brother just Joy-Con put them, replacement sticks. My brother just put them in last night. He actually was streaming. My brother streams on. Do you know that? Whoa! I don't even have Twitch downloaded on my new phone. <laughs> <laughs> my brother's streaming now. I helped him set it up when we were over there. What? You've you've been in my stream like like two months. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't. No, I, my, I, haven't. I, I streamed over at his house when I, on my vacation. You I, did, yeah. On no, my no, channel. no. I think I saw that pop. Yes, I saw yeah. that pop up in Discord. I, I think, and and that that day it was on his hardware, and I that's actually my old PC that I used to use here. Uh, but it's because he has oh. that. He has that now. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. Forgot and, uh, about that. Now he's streaming some. He streamed uh, off his Xbox the other night. He played that that new uh, uh, whatever. He played that that game. I can't remember what it's called. Uh, but they also we also streamed Legos building with my nephew. At his house, and now Holy he stream. Crap. Now he stream Joy-Con replacements. Uh, he did the the stick replacements on stream. He's doing his thing. Yeah, man. I uh, I, I'm really excited to check those out. That's Par- one thing. Parallax I mean, puddles. Which? <laughs> yeah. Put a link. We'll put a link in the. Uh... We won't. I won't do that. <laughs> oh come on. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, but anyway, what was the point of me saying? Oh, he so he put them in and tried them out. Uh, I don't. Now you you're getting a track number from that company, right? Um. It's fr- yeah, it's from the people who make the gully kit. And, These are not uh, gully kit. Do stuff. He didn't say this. I'm saying it. I don't think they're gully kit. They're just using the branding and they're kind of just knocking off the name to make people well, think that they're I don't know kit. because uh, the quality control is like not I, there because he was he felt a click. There's like a, there's like you go forward and there's like a weird feeling click. Like clearly there's something wrong with them or like they're designed poorly. Something. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll have them soon. I had a tracking number and everything. Ooh, and they're sending me. I gotta show you this picture. I'm gonna put it up on the screen. They're sending me this. It's a it's a special. It's a controller they already have mm-hmm. out. Mm-hmm. Maybe I'm not gonna show you because I can't find it. Yeah, yeah. Did I not screen. Okay, whatever. I can't. Anyway, it's one of their control. It's an eight bit do controller. Oh neat. They already had. I can't remember the name. It's one of the flat ones with the little sticks, but it's like a special edition one. It's like the uh, the year of the rabbit. Okay. It's got like. Oh, dude, it's 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 cool looking. I can't wait to get that. But they're they're coming at the same time. But um, whatever they do next, they have got the the Joy Cons have got to be. If it is another pull the 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 controllers off type of thing, yeah, like that has got to be changed completely. 
Do you think they'll adopt the whole? No, they won't. You think they'll adopt the whole uh, the hall hall effect sensor thing? We actually talked about that in the stream. Uh, no, because they cost thirty dollars. At least the one these knockoff ones off Amazon you can get right now. Um, if, there's no way because the the Joy Cons if they're thirty bucks, it means like they probably have to. They cost about let's just say ten dollars to five dollars to make individually each. If they're if they're margin to make the profit, they're probably that's why they're charging thirty bucks for the two. These are not accurate numbers. I'm just making them up. But like we know that like the the the, the, the to to make the Joy Con stick as we know it costs pennies. That's why they're so cheap. You can buy them yeah, off I mean, Amazon. You for, can get yeah. yeah. There's just the no prices way. have went up on them. But you used to be able to get them for like seven bucks for a pair, five bucks for a pair. Yeah, and now it's like ten bucks for a pair. But still, that's that's only because of profit. Yeah. That's not pro- That's only profit. They're they're not that expensive. They're just profiting more off of us. Yeah. Um, because people are putting new sticks in. But the 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 the, the, the point is that the sticks are cheap. And these new sticks, Hall Effects, are not cheap to make. And also, <laughs> at least they, don't, they, don't, they may not drift, but they don't feel any damn different than the regular sticks. He was like, yeah, these feel like identical to your old switch. Like, you, but you tra- that's, I mean, that's not a bad thing. No, but I'm, I'll you, tell you, you asked me if they're going to adopt it, and I'm telling you no, because it's too expensive. Do you think any company will? Yes. I, I think mean, eventually, I think, yeah. I think well, I mean, I'm talking about like your Sonys. Yeah. Your- PlayStation will be the first ones to do it. Maybe. They, but they just put out. They put liquid they put metal. They put, they, put, they put liquid metal in their freaking. So you think they'll do it at what the, instead the of PlayStation and, Six? Yeah. God, that's so far away. Or they'll, just, they're just, or they'll just release another another pro controller. They're already doing that anyway. With I was the, gonna say they're, they're they're whatever their high dollar only, one is about. It's only to come year. Out. Yeah, it's only year two. I mean, it's possible. I'm, you ask me who's gonna do it first. We're at a weird point right now because the switch is going to transition over. Maybe they put Hall Effects in the Pro Control Switch Pro Controller. Maybe switch. That's G- what I'm saying. I, I feel like if anybody's going to do it, Nintendo is like prime. They're, this stuff's just starting to be popular. Really, like they yeah. can do it now, but it's Nintendo. I don't know. I don't have an answer. For, I wasn't prepared to answer it's that. It's new question. technology. I, I don't it's know. Nintendo. I don't know who's going to put them in first. I honestly don't. I, I would guess PlayStation, but like I need I need to think about it. TV an answer. No, not not Microsoft. They still got the same so, damn controller they have. Something that I have thought about thoroughly for a very long time now is what the next gen switch would look like. Not the Switch Pro. The next the next thing. switch, yeah. The the next gen Nintendo <clears throat> it's switch more, system. It's more like a 3D a DS to 3DS situation, but not quite a we a we um like a Wii U or like NES to SNES, right? It's like it's not full. Like the Switch next generation, I think it's going to be in between a 3DS, or sorry, a DS to 3DS kind of sizable jump, you know, because that wasn't that big of a jump. It was just kind of like bigger 3D f- effect. Yeah, more power. Whereas like bigger, SNES and cool, NES, they yeah. were completely different consoles. The 3D was like the complete, gimmick. Yeah, like NES and SNES, they're completely different consoles with with much better internals. Like the, that 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 would that would be too big of a gap. Well, I mean, you so, mean so, so you're talking the, about the Nintendo to the Super Nintendo? Yes. I mean, that was, that was a, eight, that was a, a big, 16 bit. That was a big uh, twice. It was added t- some buttons. I mean, yeah, it's compl- completely different. I, I, okay, maybe not. Anyway, my point being, when yeah, I say, see, when I, I'm saying, I, I feel like yeah. that's actually pretty comparable. Maybe, maybe, <laughs> it, maybe it is. You're, you're talking me into it. But, but, <laughs> but my point is that it's going to be a sizable, but not crazy big jump. And, I want to. I'm going to save mine for last because I, I. I really want everyone's opinion on what you guys think of my idea. So, Jerp, I want to hear your idea. Now we're, we're back. Honestly, into, we're back into speculation predictions. We're not. This is not what Nintendo's going to put out next. This is just what. What do you want, Drip? What do you want from a next generation Switch? What do I want? What do you want? What do you think? What do you want? Slash, what are they going to put out? Well, Jeeve, I've actually put two videos out on this. But <laughs> I'll, I'll go ahead. And, I'll go ahead and tell you anyway. I mean, obviously. I want I want better Joy Cons. Yeah, if we're talking a we're talking a Switch Two, correct? Mm-hmm. Okay, at this point, hey, uh, next generation. I, yeah. Okay, at this point with the technology where it's at, how things are, it, it's not crazy for us to get PlayStation Four level hardware in a handheld. That's basically what you're looking at with a Steam Deck. Now, when you're talking about battery life and all that stuff, I mean, you know, that's that's a whole nother thing. I don't know how they'll get around that, but I mean, maybe maybe it won't be quite that much. But I mean, we need it. We need a significant upgrade. We do. We do not hardware. need PlayStation as much as people say they want it, and as much as you may think that you want it, 
you do not need PlayStation 4 graphics in 2023. No. 2023. Uh, speaking for now, I mean the future obviously is different, but right like, today, today's day and age, not a handheld you that big. You don't need in the handheld that big. You do not need that good of graphics. That's what I'm saying. You need, like you, you need could, good you enough. Can work with the parts you need to make it look and run. That's the thing. Yeah, it's, it's going to look fine. It's tiny. It's the performance. It just needs to run well. Yeah, it needs but to be it, able to run things. It needs to be able to run HD, which is at least 720p, and it also needs to run well. It's the HD part that the Switch currently struggles at. Switch does not give you an HD game for the most part handheld. A lot of games are below 720p. That's yeah. not oh, HD. Yeah. 95% of them. Yeah. So th- that's what they need, really need to, to get to, to, to clear up with the next gen. So, but what, what, okay, continue with you, your thought. I, I want, I mean, all I, all I really want, what I really want is I just want what they were going to do if a Switch Pro was real. I want that, and now I just want more. I want more. I, I I really honestly hope that Nintendo doesn't do what they always do. They're going to, but I hope that instead of getting, you know, the gimmick, whatever the next new gimmick is that they're going to try to adopt, that mm-hmm. either is going to be a slam dunk or an epic fail. I wish they would just give that shit up and do a switch, just a switch to, mm-hmm. like we've got. X, Xbox, Xbox, you know, 360, Xbox, well, I just, just give me another Switch. I want a better Switch, a well, Switch 2. What do you want in this better Switch? I want everything that we thought the Pro was going to be, but I want more. I mean, obviously, all the shortcomings we have now, we need better sticks. We need better Joy-Cons. We need... I mean, honestly, the OLED screen that's in it now would be fine. I would imagine they're probably going to upgrade that too, though. They're not going to put the same exact screen in a, be- a, a better pan- gen. In a better panel. It'll be a better panel. It'll still yeah, be 720p. May- that's the key. A lot of people yeah. out there think that the 1080p, we need a 1080p screen. No, you don't. You don't really need it. You, you don't, really don't need, need a 1080p screen. Now, it's 4K- all, all 1080p is going to do is bring your battery life down. Yeah. All it's going mean, to do. 4K upscaling on a TV is would be nice. Yeah, I mean the dock needs to have more in it than what this one has. We we need something from the dock besides yes. converting. I think to that a 1080p is that image. is unavoidable in a next gen switch. Unavoidable. The dock can't be. If you open up your docks, show me your dock. Here, actually, I have one right here. Well, I mean, there's stuff in there. It, you, you, know, see, it does you guys something. see this right here? Do you see this right here, guys? This is your Nintendo Switch dock, and I, audio listeners, you can't see. Basically, something that fits in the palm of my hand is essentially what is in your giant Switch OLED. But it slash actually is. Original that dock. is the. If correct me if I'm wrong, that is the actual internals from a Switch dock from Nintendo. This is correct? A, oh, the in. This is a plastic aftershell case. Okay. Yeah. But on but on the inside of this aftershell case is an actual OEM Switch dock. Yeah, it's, the only, it's a little. The, the only thing. It's just left, a little board. It's just a little board. The only thing left out of here is the LED light. That color, thank you, Abby. Uh, it, yeah. is, is the LED light? That's the only thing that's I not take in my, this my thing. I had to take my dock apart when I made that uh, when I made that Animal Crossing one, which is now my bush light one. Oh yes, 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 yes. Because I had to paint the whole thing white, but I took yeah, I I didn't realize it was that tiny until it's, I opened it. Yeah. I was like, wow, there's nothing in this. It's one ribbon cable that goes underneath to where you actually dock it, and it's just back there in that little box. That's literally it. It's literally it. And it, it's not like it's uncomplicated. It, it is slightly complicated of a thing. It, obviously, it's, it's transcoding a signal from your Switch into a TV, but that's literally all it does. And that's it doesn't need to be that big. So, like, the next dock should be... We're kind of getting to what I'm thinking, but I want you to finish your thought. The next dock has to do something. Can't just do... Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. Can't okay. just be, it can't just be a transcoding of signals. Yeah, I Nothing know where more. you're going. And I... I I agree. I would love to see. I know what you're going to say, but I'd like to see it do more. I'd like to see it do more. I don't think it's going to honestly, if we're, if we're getting into what I think they're going to do. Yeah. I I think give give Nintendo ideas. This is your chance. (laughs) I don't know. That's the thing you get. I have no idea. They always have some weird gimmick and it's always something that's like, Oh my God. Yes. Obviously. Like when you look at the Wii U, and then find out what they're doing with the Switch. You're like, damn. Yeah. Yeah. Holy shit. Yes. Like, yep. that is the thing. No, yes. That's great. Mm-hmm. I have no idea, man. I do. I, I tell you what I, I thought about. This is one of those things that's, like, wild that I don't think is going to happen. And we've talked about this. Mm-hmm. We talked about this, like, last year. But what if they did? We, we see them bring their handheld 
and their home console division together. And now we have the Switch. What if the next thing is not a Switch? What if the next-gen console is an actual home console and they just let the Switch keep going as they're handheld and then they bring out this other thing and then go back to discs? Now, no, there's I don't no think way. it's going to happen. No, I don't no think way. it's going to happen, but how crazy. Now, don't say there's no way. There's no way. Because this is Nintendo we're talking about. This is oh, there's true. A, but there's, there's no a way. way. There's a way. It, it probably won't happen, but uh, I'm getting shit on the chat right now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I was in, I was asked the audio listeners. I did just put like a cream on my finger. I am. I don't know what's going on. I think it might be heat rash. I get them sometimes. A lot of times on my hands. I get them on my left palm in particular. But I'm getting it on my 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 right middle finger at this moment. It's like some sort of like either heat rash or I don't want to say a fungus. That'd be weird, but. It's just something. I mean, I, hey, man, I, fungus my, is happening. I am kind of warm yeah. right now in a weird, I, like, I'm uncomfortable, like I told you before. I think, I think I need another shower or something, but I'm getting, like, this weird bumps on my finger, and it's itchy, and it bothered me, so I got acid heavy from some cortisone, some cortisone nice. cream. Not, l- not lube. Thank chat. Not lube. Thank you yeah, very much. Take, take care of that. And Alex said, to uh, loosen but, up I mean, all his wrong ideas. <laughs> 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 but, I mean, I, I, don't, I don't know. You, you're probably right. Like, they're not going to do it. They just brought everybody together. Yeah. We're going to see them continue. That's why I think that's why they, <laughs> obviously, why they went to the cartridges. This goes with the, this, this is goes, where they're going. This goes with your question. Sidebar. Is this next-gen Switch compatible, backwards compatible? Not like, not like you, the game, are the games playable? I mean, like, can you take your new, whatever the new console's cartridges or discs are, obviously the discs, they won't work. The new, the new ones? The new cartridges on the new console that's going to come out, the next gen, are they going to be able to pop into your old Switch? Absolutely play? not. No, that's the whole point. That's how, no, they're not going to do that. No way. They won't do that. What, now, the, now, you, now, listen, it is a little different right now because you do see PlayStation 4 versions of games coming out. You're getting Xbox One versions of games, but that's stopping now. You're starting to see just these the games that are PlayStation 5, Xbox Series games. Nintendo's not going to do that. Yeah. They're going to let you play all your <laughs> old games on your new thing. That's why they went back to the cartridge, for yeah. sure. Yeah. And these cartridges are going to go forward. We're going to use those in the next thing. I just I don't see them b- being like, "Oh yeah, no, don't worry. You can just buy this new game and play it on the old thing." Yeah. Nah, I don't see that. Not Nintendo. I, I, I was talking about this with Abby earlier, um, and she, she looked at me the same way. Like, what do you mean? There's no way the new, con- new cartridges are going to work in the old Switch. And I, I, my thought is this. It's not a NES to SNES. It's not a two, uh, regular DS to 3DS. This is going to be somewhere in between those two in a lot of ways, including the way the cartridge is going to work. I think when you look at a Switch cartridge, how in how in the, they can't make it any smaller? It's not like they need to make them smaller. And we're not talking about giant six, Nintendo sixty four cartridges or anything, or, or, or NES cartridges were huge. We're not talking about that. We're, it's little bitty thing. Uh, uh, the only thing they could do is just make it a true SD card size, and nobody's gonna do that. You're gonna lose that. Your kids are gonna choke on it. Gonna, kids are gonna die because they're gonna, gonna choke on a SD yeah, card. Yeah, they're not, not gonna do that. So yeah. like they can't. How uh, other than just change the plastic, just to change the plastic. <laughs> On the outside of the cartridge, or make it thicker or thinner, like 2DS. I'm uh, sorry. They're not going to do DS. that. What, how are they going to change this cartridge? Other than, like, if especially if they're going to call it a Switch, because I still think they're going to call it a Switch. I think that Switch branding is going to stick around. Like I said, it's not exactly an NES, a, a Nintendo system, to win a Super Nintendo. It, it's also not exactly, a D, I'm going to keep saying that, a, a regular DS to 3DS. This is somewhere in between those two. And okay, but I think, think about this. I think you the can Switch play name DS is, games. You can play DS games on a 3DS. Right, but you can't play 3DS on two. But you can't uh, put, they'll go in. They're not going to work, though. Right. They don't work. It's going to be the same uh, thing oh, here. I, well, I guess they, will, they do go in, I guess, 3DS uh, games. You're, it's gonna have, you're gonna get an error. You're gonna, there's going to be some little lip on it where this game will slide into the new opening. Are they going to do... Are they and do- then it won't slide into the old opening. You know what I mean? Like, they'll be... Like, if you look here... Like, this just goes in. There's nothing on this. Like, imagine if you take one of these cartridges and there's just this little tiny lip on one side. And in this area for the Switch 2, it's got that opening because this is a Switch 2 game. Now, you try to put it in here, it won't fit because it's got that little thing on the side. That's a way they could do it. 
Or you just put it in, it's just going to be like, error. Absolutely not. I'm not playing this thing. Are you crazy? Yeah, more what likely, more what likely, more likely spaceship? error. But that's why I think it's it's a it's going to be not a hybrid system, but a hybrid of the of a generation. It's a hybrid of a generation. It's not going to be. I think it's going. to, What I'm saying is, those cartridges are going to work on the old Switch. I think they're not going to give you the same performance that the new one's going to give you. And there's going to be features left out. It's going to be. It's going to but be. But to do that, I, I'm not. I'm not a developer, and I don't know how these things work exactly. But to do that, wouldn't there have to be two different versions completely on one cartridge? No, because this is. It's more similar to to phones. I'm thinking. I'm thinking about mobile tech wise, like. Not that your phones don't play games in the in that same way that you don't plug a game into your phone in terms of like a cartridge or a, a disc or anything, but like it's it's kind of like it's just like it's think of it like a mobile phone like the um I can't think of a comparable other than that like for phones because they don't play games but when you look at mobile tech like the whole world doesn't just shift every iPhone thir- when they went from iPhone ten to eleven the worlds didn't shift in gaming when we go generation to generation things shift. Right, yeah. like, like, like the phones don't do that, and I don't think the next switch is going to do that either because it's going to be a it's next generation, but also not going to be the next generation. We're not. It's not going to be the 4K that everyone wants. It's not going to be all blah blah blah. Are you following me? Am I making any point sense? You can disagree with me. Think, you feel free to disagree with me. I don't. I don't know if I completely agree with myself. But okay. but, but, but I do but, think this. But like you, 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 you this, understand the 4K where I'm going? Thing, yeah, yeah, yeah. But the 4K thing, I do think you're wrong about because I think all that all that shit we heard last year about developers saying that Nintendo told them to get ready for 4k, like prepare yeah. stuff for 4k. Yeah. That was probably before they decided, Oh shit, we can't do this. We got to just do the OLED. Yeah. So they had, they probably did have plans at some point for 4k stuff, or at least for things to be upscaled. So get them ready to be, you know, so it's, it's possible to be doing that and make it look good. I think 4k, not, handheld obviously not handheld but i think at least upscale docked i don't why not if you can get a nice 1080p image and then upscale that yeah, to 4k upscaling has nothing to do with development upscaling is all to do with the uh, I, I, I could be speaking on my ass so i'm gonna correct me if i'm wrong but i don't believe upscaling has anything to do with development upscaling happens via ai or software that exists on well, your, depending on it depends on how they do they, it they, but, they, they develop the game for the resolution they make it for but then the ai scaling or whatever does the rest you know it's something they yeah, really have to yeah, think I, about i don't know that, i don't so, know how i'm that sure Al's, Al's gonna mention it any any second i'm like you dumbass no of course they, they have to think about upscaling because they could i hope he does i want to know because i don't know either <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> i don't know either yeah. um i don't know I, I, I do think I think we'll probably see some 4K at least at least upscaled. I think. I mean, why not? It's a buzzword now. Even if you're not true 4K, like, what are you gonna do? Put out a console in 2023 and be like, we got 1080p, dude. No, yeah. So let's absolutely get, not. We're, we're running we're running a little bit late here because I know my my idea is gonna take a little bit of time here. But I right, got let, let's let's talk about my what I want slash think that the next generation could look like. Now this is what you actually think they're gonna do. It's more like it's, want them to it's more like what I want them to do, but I, I think it makes a lot of sense, and I think it's very, very possible that they could do this. <clears throat> okay, I'm all a, ears. A, vari- a variation. I'm not Nostradamus here. Just a variation of my idea. So it's looking. This is why I want to talk about the Wii U tonight because I really think, and I believe you and I've talked about this trip. It has to. Uh, my idea. They're going to be rolling back the idea. They're going to look at the Wii U and said, "This failed." However, it was before its time in a lot of ways, and I think the idea could be move can move forward. And the best way, the best of both worlds in terms of the Switch next generation is because you, wa- you need that battery. It's key to have that battery life in handheld. And, and you can't get that if you put a high resolution screen and great internals inside. You just get, look at the yeah. Steam Deck, look at all the other ones. They, they're proof. Oh, of- Steam Decks, I, I believe the Steam Decks uh, screen is still only 720p. It is. It, it, people would. People don't know that because people are dumb. But yeah, the screen is still 720p. However, I can't the, wait till mine be- gets here. I'm just so just sorry. imagine if just imagine because there are people out there saying, "Oh, it's going to be a 1080p or a 4K screen because it has to be." And the internal and the internal is going to be able to put out a 4K signal. Okay, you'll get five minutes of battery life. Yeah, <laughs> like it's it, they can't battery life. People who don't understand batteries frustrate me because battery technology is one of the hardest technologies to advance in a small amount of time. Like battery technology is slow, so. As fast as you can get these internals to to go fast, uh, to to perform better, I mean, not go fast. The batteries don't, don't keep up, 
you have to put thicker and thicker batteries in at some point. You're making something way too big and heavy. You might as well make a gaming laptop at this point. Right? And even gaming laptops suffer from the same thing. If you have a gaming laptop, you're probably next to an outlet all the time. You know. Yeah. So anyway, back to my idea. This Think of... Uh, this is the realistic option, and then this is what I want. The realistic option is it's a new... They give you a, another tablet. It's a, it's a, it comes in the box. A tablet comes in the box. It's just like a Switch. It runs off of a battery. It, 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 you can bring it out into your car. It does not need to be within a certain range like the Wii U. It is a Switch tablet as we know it. It's got a 720p screen. It'll run 1080 games. It's, it's really not that big of a difference. It will they run better on this device. But it's just an upgraded Switch, not a Pro. Just like it runs, it actually will run 1080p games. Uh, docked. In handheld? No, in docked. Oh, docked. Because the screen's okay. only 720. It's, gonna, it's only going to run yeah, on the okay. That's why I was But it's going to run, but okay. it's going to perform well. It, it, the games that are going to struggle, like Breath of the Wild, Breath of the Wild is going to run 60 on this thing, handheld. But it's going to be... Hyrule Warriors? Hyrule Warriors? Hopefully, let's just hope for 30 on that one. <laughs> let's just hope for 30 on that one. No, but, but uh, you know, it, they're, it's, it's, the, the upgrade is going to come into the performance. And this shell, I don't know what the shell is going to be. I'm not like, again, I'm not Nostradamus here. I don't know what they're going to do with the shell. Um, probably is very similar to the OLED. The, the, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. That's, another, that's a really nice shell. So the idea is the tablet's coming in the box. It's the dock that's the big change. The dock is the big change because the dock... Is going to resemble more of a Wii U than it is. Actually, you guys ever you guys ever seen the 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 Ouya, uh gaming console? It was a like a rectangle Android box, square. It's like a, yes, a, yes, a cube, a cube Android about. box. I kind yes. of think now it's going to be bigger than that. This 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 dock I'm thinking of, but I kind of think that that's what we're looking at for this 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 next system. That is going to be where the big changes happen. There's a gra- they're going to sell you a graphics card. In, in this, the Switch 2, right? This is what we're talking about for the sake of the argument. The Switch 2 is going to come with basically an external graphics card in a box. And you, you'll be able to I pl- watched... Uh, I, I want you to continue, but I do want to say, I watched somebody open up a Steam Deck and attach a graphics card to it. You, yeah. can, do, you can put one on the internals of it. You pull the back off. You can snap. You can't really snap it. You have to have a cable and stuff. But it yeah. works. And it it did exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. Do it. So go ahead. Yeah. That's that's an interesting idea. Uh, switch coin. The only reason I brought the Ouya is because that's that's in my brain. That's the way this thing looks. In my brain, I'm picturing this next Switch console to look like this. Not the tablet. The, this is the, the Wii U portion of the Switch too, because they're gonna bring back that idea of the of the console. It sold eleven tablets. <laughs> it, it, it sold like nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, that tells you how big of a tech fan I am that I even know it exists. Because like, <laughs> I I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Maybe you're the one who showed me that. Probably. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> but uh, but anyway, so it's gonna be a box. You know, who knows what the shape is? I'm not again. I know Uh You're gonna be able to plug your switch in. It's gonna be a dock. It's gonna dock your switch. But the focus of it's gonna be is an up. That is the upscaler. Because you can't just. It's not like people say. Oh, we're just gonna put just put a chip. A chip will do AI upscaling. AI upscaling, like software, like that's not what I want. I want like, it's like a muscle car. I want, if I want to drive a muscle car, I want, I want to, I want the hardware. I want it to blow heat out of its ass, like make noise, get a nice muffler on it or something. You know, that's what I want this next switch to be is, is power, man. Power, baby. And this next OLED, or what do you call it? The switch Two, uh, the, the home console portion of it is going to, it's going to sell you with that. And it's, I, I can't put any, I keep, I think I'm going in circles here, but that's my idea. I understand what you mean. But, but, Something else but, we didn't talk about. But here's too. the key feature. Here's the key feature, though, because they're selling you a tablet and they're selling you this box, right? That's a graphics card, essentially. The key feature with that is going to be this: you're going to be able to use your tablet at the same time as you are that box, and you're going to play games Wii so U style like, with a switch, yeah, like the Wii U. I would love that. Honestly, I would absolutely. If the if the yeah. switch itself was the controller, yeah. In that mode, in that well, yeah, exactly. The switch is the controller, and in that and at that point, in it's that like, mode, do you even need? Do they need to? Ha- does it need Joy Cons? Well, okay, hear me out. We'll get to that in a second. But in this mode, you're not going to run very high powerful games because half the brains, more than half the brains, is in your hands. You're going to be able to play. Uh, you're going to be able to play 1080p. Okay. You're going to be able to play 1080 games Wii U style. But if you plop this, but if you in plop there it and in it. and grab your controllers. Now we're talking, baby, because now you got a graphics card mixed with your with your your switch tablet that you got. Maybe it's backwards compatible. That's the part of so the, then you're working. That's the part you're working. Now we're getting the territory of I don't know if it's true or not. This is totally not probably not possible, but the backwards compatibility of your old tablet. 
if they could release an update to the old tablets, being like, okay, you can use your if you want extra That's controllers, if you want if my, if everybody in the house wants it once because it comes with one tablet, but if everyone in the but house you have to remember this, they want to make money. They're not going to let you use that old thing. Like, uh, maybe, God, maybe because they let you use the Wii motes on the Wii U. God, everybody was so confused. It's, we're about talking that. about just that's why, but that's why only, it didn't work. We're only talking nobody knew about, what the hell it was. We're only talking, like, is this a is this an attachment for my we're, Wii? We're, we're, think of this. Uh, don't think of this as a, a, a console that they're they don't they're, they're going to lose money selling you to. They're just we're just talking about using this as a controller, just like the Wii U. This will this does will not so support it's an update. So this it does not just support the dock. This does not. This won't support dock play. But this will support a con- to be a controller. Your old switch turns into a just controller. Push an update to it. Like be p- half your game's going to be on here. Like your menus, like just like 3ds or Wii U style. All your half the game, the menus are going to be here, and the rest can be on the screen. This acts as a controller. This will not be dockable. It'll charge, but it will not be dockable to that switch. Like a uh, the controller new mode. Controller on the, mode. On the main menu. It, maybe it's an app on here. I don't know what they're going to yeah, do. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like down there by the switch uh, online. Yeah, one of the little circles are along the bottom. Yeah, this controller. I mode. think we need to face the music right now. This is never going to get an upgrade in graphics. We're never, there's never going to be a dock that releases. No. There's never going to be a, 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 a. This is this switch is is it? This is what we got, baby. And you know what's crazy? Now that we know, I never thought about that till you just. I just forgot about that. That other thing that's in the new dock. Yeah. Maybe that actually was supposed to do something in the original plans. And they've already soldered but, to all the boards, and they but don't. Everything was already happening with that part, so that's why it's it's there. It will do nothing ever, but it was all. It was just all. It's leftover remnants of what the actual plan was. It's <laughs> very possible. Yeah, that's very possible. I don't know. Yeah. So, what do you think of my idea? I really think. I, I, I love, think it, I not love only, that idea. Not only honestly. is it not only is it possible, but I think it's doable. I honestly love that idea. To tell you the truth, I mean, it's a lot. But it, it gives it another, it gives the Switch another mode, which gives it just more of that Switch branding. Like, yeah, you can do docked mode, you can do handheld, and here's our new gimmick, the new way to switch your Switch. Uh, I don't know what you call it. Uh, Wii Wii mode. <laughs> Whatever it is, yeah. Wii Wii, Wii mode. Wii U mode. Wii Wii, Wii U mode. Wii Wii mode. <laughs> yeah, I mean, whatever it is. But, I mean, that would give them... I mean, there's your gimmick right there. That's your gimmick. We got another way to switch in the Switch Two. Like, yeah, I I don't I don't hate that honestly. Yeah. It'll play. It'll, it. it can upscale to 4K. I think it natively that th- that like my in my idea to keep the price down and everything like that. It'll run the the performance. It'll run it at, at 30 FPS for 4K or you know more likely 60 1080P for everything. Um, but it's not about it's not about the performance. It's about that 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 feature. Uh, of the two-handed screen because Nintendo's not about they're not about cutting edge performance they're never going to be as much as you complain about wanting a Switch Pro you're not going to get it you're going to get this and it's going to be I'd be happy with that honestly I, I don't I don't hate that idea whatsoever yeah now don't hate that idea whatsoever I only say that your old Switch tab it won't be dockable into this new thing because that's what Nintendo would do that's what they would do. Oh yeah, they're not going to let you. I want this to be dockable into the new thing, and you can just buy the dock that they're selling, the Switch Two dock, and that is going to be the graphics card. That can, but then can you run. still would, but then you still wouldn't have the full that third mode you're talking about, where you get the controller and you put right. the new Switch in yeah. with the. You wouldn't have this, that this, mode. This new dock, while it'll be vastly different than our current dock, it's not going to be compatible with like it's. You can't just grab a Pro controller and this dock and no tablet, right? You can't just buy their their new Switch dock and buy a Pro controller and play games. That's not the way it's going to work. Even if it could yeah, technically, not, theoretically, it they won't let you do that. You have to. You either have to have a just like the Wii U did. You have to have a a, a, a Switch tablet paired to this this thing, and that's it. That's they now they only work together if they're paired together, just like the Wii U was. Um, uh, Alex just said something that's an interesting thought too. What about some games don't work in handheld docked only? Which I I could see that actually being a thing because we do like if you think about it, we do have some games that aren't made for handheld and some games that you, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like what, like, uh, you have to play with a joy con or whatever. Like, uh, I hate, I hate that though. Switch sports. Like it has to be docked. You have to play it docked. Yeah. I mean, that's it, very possible. And then instead of it, just because it's a, some gimmick where you have to do some motion control, it's because it's actually a game that needs all the pieces together. The transformer has to, yeah. <laughs> the Megazord has to yeah. be, uh, assembled. And, all the power so, range. 
need to be involved. Yeah. So something from earlier in the episode we talked about was the Switch Lite and, and like its future with with the with the with the, with the next gen, right? The the Switch Lite. This is the. I hope this is what they do. That you're gonna be there's they'll push an update to your old switches. Uh, that will allow you to use them as a controller only. That yeah, also the switch lights. Yeah, that well, also yeah, means to the other that switch, also yeah. means your switch lights will be able to be used as controllers. Now this would be a cool. Co- Look at that. That's perfect. The switch imagine, light with the Skull and Co. grips on it is the best controller I've ever held. And imagine this. Imagine <laughs> this as your controller, yeah. but like, but like Wii U style, like you're saying. Yeah. Like while you're playing a Zelda game and your your menu for all your your shits right here, and you could just. Mm-hmm. God, that would How be great. Cool and then it, and then what you could do you is could literally hit the button. Uh-huh. And then just leave. And leave your not, house. Not leave the room, leave, leave the your house. house. Yes. And this is why it can't be a 1080p screen and it can't be a four can't be able to it push 4K. Need, because if you that. did that, if you did that, you'd leave your house and then you'd instantly run out of battery. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like this yeah. control it's also going to be a controller. The switch is going to be treated like a controller in the future. But also treated like a handheld. That's going to be the hybrid. Of I, I like that idea. I don't think console. it'll happen, but I love. I got to say, I do Thank love you. that idea. I've, I've, Fantastic I've, idea. This is my Wii U inspired that idea. So I'm playing. I got. I got a Wii U in 2020, guys. Like I or 2021. I was one of those weird people who paid a hundred. Actually, I got a very good deal on my Wii U. Very, very good deal. Um, less than hundred bucks for the whole package. It was great. Yeah. Um, me too. Well, I got mine for a hundred bucks, but it's this. Is, but this is twenty twenty one when everything was going for two hundred dollars. I got yeah. it for a hundred. Well, mine's also the Wind Waker edition. So yeah, go that. suck it. <laughs> not, not, but yeah, no, I, 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 I was flex or anything. Just say the Wii was such a good idea, and I know it flopped, and people like to shit on it because it it's obviously needs to be shit on in a lot of ways. It was good. Listen, look it's at the games console. that came from the Wii U though that oh, are on the Switch. They're good games. And this, the Wii U itself is a, like we said before, it's a prototype of what we have now, and it, it was because it was a good idea. Yeah, so go back. Go back. Take to, all that cool shit, combine that with the Switch. That's your Switch, too. It's the Switch U. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> Just because it rhymes with me, you should do it, okay? <laughs> uh, the Switch U. The Switch U. Everyone's going to be like, what, what is it? And then it'll flop. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. All right, guys. Well, this has been a fun one. Uh, we really appreciate you guys checking it out. Uh, the stream, don't go, stream. Those of you in the live chat, don't go nowhere. We're going to hang out for a little bit longer here. Uh, for those of you listening on audio platforms, there, this is where we're going to wrap it up. Thank you guys so much for checking out this episode, and we hope to see you guys next week. Later.